What's going on guys? So today we're gonna be checking out Zach's Miata. It was my old Miata. We're gonna be giving her a wash. He's actually preparing a seller, so if you wanna buy it, check it out. Here we have Zachary himself. He's a little bit of a tall boy for a Miata, so that's why he wants to get rid of it. Very tall. As you can see, gotta get him all in frame. He's pretty freaking tall. He's about as long as the whole Miata. So he's looking to get into like a 350Z or a 240 or something just bigger in general. Which is pretty swaggy, you know? Uh, he's got some eBay wheels on here. They uh, used to be uh, Tyler's wheels when he got his Miata. And then uh, Tyler's current wheels are actually my old wheels. Um, it's got some JDM's AF Hentai stickers. Yeah, those were mine. Uh, I stuck them on there. She still starts right up like a champ. He's gonna get a little bit of scrapage up here. <laughs> yeah, you can see where the frame rail hit right there. But yeah, we're about to wash this thing. I'll give you a little bit more of a walk around when we get over there. All right, so checking out Zach's Miata. Let's take a look inside. We got uh, this uh, sick AF NRG uh, wood steering wheel. You know he's got a uh, no horn button because uh, who needs them? And then uh, he's got this sick AF Sandstorm rev limiter gauge cluster. A nice uh, master ball shift knob that, uh, you know, he's got to catch them all. Uh, <laughs> He's got this, uh, I don't remember the company, but it's a bucket seat. He's got a second one, sparkle license plate holder. Uh, he's got that manual so he knows how to fix the John if he needs to. He's got more stuff in the center console. Oh, he's got more stuff in the center console. He's got a radio back there. Oh, I got a radio back there? Yeah. <laughs> um, you got, oh, here's your horn button. <laughs> Uh, here's the horn button. Here's the shift knob that came with uh, Tyler's car, and then I put it in this car, and that's where she is. So the car's got an eBay lip up front, just your standard eBay like factory style lip. Um, don't know if you can see it in there at all. Probably not. But he's got some Megan Racing coilovers, which were on my red Miata originally, and he uh, just did full brakes pads and rotors and a new caliper because the back one was seized um if you're wondering why the car is mismatched when i got it it was mismatched the kid had another parts car and i guess the panels on this car weren't the best as you can see they're all a little bit dinged a couple dents but like i guess these were in better condition than what was on there uh yeah but she's kind of low i had it pretty slammed if you've seen the other video on my channel where it's called uh slammed mb miata i had the coilovers maxed out and she was definitely low as fuck uh right now still got a pretty good gap in there so under the little hood piece here got that raceland header over here baking soda and, and vinegar to clean the lights that's yeah, what i do with a forerunner these ones have funny. the black housings the other ones are the normal ones. It's got that eBay aftermarket intake. Uh, what else we got that's a little special back here? It's got an aluminum, aluminum radiator upgraded from stock. Nothing fancy. I can push the car with my knee. Um, what do you got to say about it? Basically said everything. Do you want people to buy it? Yeah. Buy it. <laughs> Yo! Again! He's <laughs> <laughs> that's clutch. But that's not what we need. <laughs> We're expired. We're gonna try this. I think I don't what? have it. Oof. There, buddy. Dove. He was not a Nice.
that means it's squeaky clean. Right now, Zachary is uh, polishing up his headlights a bit with some... What is it, Zach? Baking soda and uh, vinegar. Man, that sounds like a cheap one anybody can do. Yeah, like me. Just a quick comparison between the one he just shined up a little bit with vinegar and baking soda compared to the one that has not had any yet. I think you can see a bit of a difference. It's not like one of those little... It's not drastic, yeah, but it's... it's... You're not like you're sanding it down, yeah. but it's a quick fix. It's a quick fix to get it out of here. Yeah. Air champ. I think she's all set. I think she's too. She's all wet and all set. Alrighty. This is a low... Low Joe. Low Joe. Is this the right key, Gio? It is. Turn on them headlights, boy. We gotta see. We gotta see. Oh, those are some uh, not very good wipers. <laughs> those will get fixed. Oh. Get to hear that scrape coming up. Right here for the seat. Hell yeah. Just a little walk around of it now that it's clean. I know it's kind of dark out, but it looks kind of cool with the lights on. But yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. Uh, if any of you want to pick it up, hit up my boy Zach. You know, he'll sell it to you for a decent price, I think. Won't come with these stickers because I'm going to steal them back from him to put them on my toolbox. But uh, you'll get everything else that's pretty sweet, you know what I'm saying? Guys, so now what we're grabbing to put in is the uh, driver's side bucket seat right there. So uh, we'll throw that in real quick and then I'll show you guys. Alrighty, we have secured the tools. Alrighty, so if you've never taken a Miata seat out before, let me it's show you bolts. how. It's four bolts. So there's one back there, one back there, and two in the front, and it pops right out. We'll show you how, boys. We're going to be using this here, Recheto. Uh, Icon boys, I've never heard of them, but I'll bet it works. Now he's using this poodle. Hell yeah. So now we're putting in the bucket seat. A little bit dusty because she's been in the storage. And by storage, I mean the garage for a little while, but that's all right. And uh, it'll match the other one which is in there, which will be nice. A little bit of a matchy-matchy because the other one was just a stock seat that is all ripped up and stuff. So it'll definitely be a nice aesthetic change. Holy shit. No bucket way. seat has been installed. Zach is test fitting himself. Too fucking big. Too fucking big for the bucket seat. Too Let me come around the other side. Oh yeah, you are too big for this thing with the bucket seat. Yeah, Especially, dude. bro. Look at this. I'm look. like, you, you can you see my indent? Yeah, bro. Look, you're pushing your cup. You're about to spill it. You guys, so we installed the seat tonight. We washed her, just cleaned her up a little bit. Figured I'd give you a little walk around finally. It's pretty dark, so you can't really see much, but she's all clean. Just parked her over here, as you saw, and uh, she'll be for sale soon. So, uh, 
stay tuned for that. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below for more content. And what do you gotta say, Zach? I'm gonna be dropping GameCube button controllers pretty soon. If you wanna go buy some, eventually there'll be a link in the description, but not anytime soon. Alright, see ya. Peace.